secret human and animal experiments and biological weapons right off the coast of New York? No thanks. Well, it's real and it's called Plum Island. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm Lucy. And I'm Sam. And, and this, this is Conspiracy, Conspiracy Central. Central. Plum Island is a small island off the coast of Long Island, New mm. York, and it hosts the Plum Island Animal Disease Center, whose purpose mm. is to research animal diseases and prevent the spread of said diseases to America's livestock. It's Dr. Larry Barrett, he's the director of the research center, Mm -hmm. He justifies Plum Island's experiments and squashes any conspiracy theories with the simple explanation that America needs Plum Island because what we do is make sure that foreign animal diseases are controlled. And then he goes on to say that if there were an outbreak of foot and mouth disease, it would cost the industry $180 billion. If this is a animal safety disease prevention center, why is the Department of Homeland Security involved? The main conspiracy theories here are that Plum Island was the target of an Al Qaeda plot and has some links to Nazi scientists. There were documents intercepted that okay. had a list of targets. One of them was Plum Island. So it begs the question, why would this be a target for a terrorist attack? Well because it has labs full of dangerous pathogens that if released could kill millions of people and animals. Which then begs the question, why is such a dangerous facility located right next to the most densely populated city in the United States? So Carl Grossman, an investigator and journalist, is interviewed on a couple different platforms stating that Eric Traub is the godfather of Plum Island. Who's Eric Traub? Oh, just a Nazi scientist. Oh, duh. Eric Traub worked for Himmler during World War II, and mm -hmm. he was the one who set up the original germ warfare lab on Plum Island. Plum Island is the perfect site for bioweapons and biowarfare, a lot of conspiracy theorists say, okay. because it's labs full of dangerous pathogens that anyone could engineer to, you know, be injected into ticks and be sent out to the masses. That's what germ warfare is. God. Sneaky. It's bioweapons. Rude. It's, it's very rude. So the existence of biowarfare experiments happening on Plum Island during the Cold War era was of course denied by the US government for years and years and years. Yeah. However, many suspect that the reason they were creating these deadly pathogens was to attack Russia's livestock. Okay. And they were at the same time creating vaccines for almost every disease that they were studying in the lab so they would in turn be able to protect their own livestock. Is this the conspiracy or is this true? Well, this leads to my next point. In 1993, Newsday released an article where they had done research proving otherwise. Mm. To, so essentially, these experiments were indeed going on. I don't like the thought of that. No, it's terrifying. Yeah. One year later, in 1994, Russian scientists came to inspect the lab to confirm that these experiments had, in fact, ended. Which means, at one point, they, they were had started. On. Let's talk about a couple mutated bodies that were found washed up on the beaches of Long Island. Have you heard of the Montauk Monster? No. It is a mysterious looking, bloated, hairless creature that washed up on the beaches of Montauk Ugh. during the days of these Plum Island experiments. Wow. So Gross. this animal washed up and it wasn't, there wasn't just one, but there were three. Not only is that mysterious, but another report found a human body washed up that had five holes drilled into its head and mysteriously elongated fingers. I wonder if they were doing like gene rewiring to like let a pig grow a beak. Yeah, I mean that's what that's what all signs are pointing to here. Freaky. But again, these are all still cold cases. Like everyone was just kind of like that's weird and then stopped investigating it. Wonder why. I think like the media can just kind of pick what we stay focused on. And so if the media were to pick up one of these stories, you know, some big wig is going to make a call and be like, "No, that's a boring story. We're not going to report on that." But really it's like, no, that's a true story. We're not gonna report on that. Well, yeah, I think that the government interferes with top secret programs all the time. Yeah. And threatens people who wanna tell the truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But don't worry, we're just making sure that our livestock doesn't get sick. Well, they did in 2005. Oh yeah, they did. <laughs> the Department of Homeland Security announced that the Plum Island Animal Disease Research Center 
would be moved to Manhattan, Kansas. Why would you move it then to the most populated livestock area in yeah, the United what? States? That's so weird. But they renamed it the National Bio and Agro Defense Facility. Discovery Channel did an investigative video on Plum Island and they weren't allowed to set foot hmm. on the shore. So it was just a man analyzing the buildings and the setup from his helicopter. And even, <laughs> even his analysis of the architecture there, he was like, this is suspicious. Maybe they moved it to, to like a more chill location at a university because they were done doing the sketchy, sketchy sketch stuff. And that's why you're not allowed to go to the actual island because there could be like proof of the sketchy sketch stuff. Well, I feel like in a, another densely populated area full of students and the very livestock that you claim you're trying to defend, is pretty sketchy too. It just doesn't sound very calculated. Which maybe means that the original name for the facility was just a lie to begin with. You know what I mean? Or maybe they're just trying to hide in plain sight. Or it's harder for terrorists to hit in Kansas. And we might never know. <laughs> but that's the mystery of Plum Island. I'll be curious to see when the next mutated body washes up. But until then, I'm Lucy. And I'm Sam. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching Conspiracy, Conspiracy Central. Central.